Welcome to Norton Chemistry. Today we're going to be doing electron structure exam questions. Feel free to go ahead and do the exam questions and then run through the video for your answer. I'll put the link in the description below. The question is about the chemistry of the metals zinc, magnesium, aluminium and calcium. Complete the electron configuration of a zinc atom. So if we have a look at the periodic table, we can see that zinc is in the D block and it's 10 electrons into the D block because the D block starts at scandium and finishes at zinc. If you need any help with this, make sure to check out my electron structure revision video. So that gives the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2 because 4 because the 4s subshell fills before the 3d subshell and then 3d10. The electrons in the second shell of a nitrogen atom are found in an s orbital and 3p orbitals. State in words the 3d shape of an s orbital and a p orbital. So s orbitals are spherical and p orbitals are dumbbell shaped. Describe the relative energies of the 2s orbitals and each of the three 2p orbitals in a nitrogen atom. So the 2p orbital is further from the nucleus so it has a higher energy than 2s orbital but all three of the 2p orbitals have the same energy. Complete the electron configuration of a manganese atom. So if we have a look at the periodic table, we can see that manganese, like zinc, is in the 3D subshell, and it's five electrons into the 3D subshell. So the end of its electron configuration is going to be 4s2, 3d5. Now be careful with the D block elements, because chromium and copper are anomalies, so their 4s subshell only fills singly, and then the 3D subshell has an extra electron to what you would expect. So for example, for Cr, it would be 4s1, 3d5. So that's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d5. Europium, atomic number 63, has two isotopes, 151 europium and 153 europium. Complete the table to show the number of protons, neutrons and electrons in the 153 EU3 plus arm of europium. That's important, it's a 3 plus arm, so it's lost three electrons. So if you have a look at the periodic table, we can locate europium. So you can see the europium is down the bottom, and it has an atomic number of 63 and a relative atomic mass of 152. So we can use this information. So the atomic number is the same as the number of protons, so that's 63. For this isotope, the relative isotopic mass is 153. So to find the number of neutrons, we need to subtract 153 by 63 which is 90, and then the number of electrons is going to be the atomic number minus 3 because you've lost 3 electrons because it's a 3 plus one. So that's 60 electrons. Atoms of europium have electrons in orbitals within the first 5 shells. The first 3 shells of europium are full. Complete the table to show the number of electrons in the following regions of the europium atom. So, in the 1s subshell, we always have 2 electrons because there's 1s orbital and each orbital can hold 2 electrons. In a 3p orbital, well that's simply one orbital, so that can only hold a maximum number of two electrons. And we know that europium has got enough electrons to fully fill the 3p subshell. And then it's going to have a full third shell. And to find the number of electrons in the shell, we use the formula 2n squared. So it's two times the number of the shell, which is three squared. So that's two times three squared. And remember that you do the square first so that's nine times two which is 18 electrons in the third shell thanks for watching make sure to check out my redox exam questions video which should be in the bottom right hand corner now it should help you to identify oxidation numbers which is a really important skill you can also check out my website to purchase my notes and flashcards the link will be in the description below <laughs>